What is up guys, it's Don here and today we are back with another FIFA 19 video. Now I don't know why I'm in such a good mood today, but I'm in a good mood today. So I'm not going to complain. Hopefully you guys are in a good mood as well. Hopefully your weekend league's going well. Everything in your life's going well. Hope you guys have been packing good players. Hope all is good. But anyway, I'm trying to help you guys with something that I needed to help with myself. So I put this squad together and I'm basically going to be showing you guys a squad that I used to get the Merve card. Um, so hopefully if you guys are trying to get it, it's in the weekly objective. All you have to do is win eight rival games with 11 German players. Now, again, just like last week, there is ways around using 11 German players for the full game. Basically, you need to, in my opinion, best thing to do is start with 11 German players on the field and then you can sub. Uh, obviously, you can you can sub three on because you get three subs. So you can sub three players on. So before I get into the squad, I'm going to show you guys the players or the type of players that I have decided to put on my bench to sub on. Um, and it's it's very dependent on what position I'm in in the game. If I'm winning like 6-0, I'm going to slap, slap on my attacking players because I'm going to win anyway. And I, I just want to have a bit of fun on the attack. So like you hear this, I'm going to bring on Hazard, Rivaldo and Aubameyang. Uh, probably Rivaldo at Cam. And then Aubameyang and Hazard on the wings. And then um, and then keep my existing striker from the squad in the team. If I'm losing or if it's a close game, likelihood is I'm going to bring on an attacking player. And then I'm going to bring on Decore and Fabinho because I don't want to concede again. But I still want a good attacking player that I can still make chances with. So so definitely go with, with at least two holding midfielders. People who have decent stamina, good interceptions, good pace. Uh, Decore and Fabinho for me perfect for, for the position and then go with your best attacking players preferably quick players players with good shooting and dribbling uh, they're not going to let you down so without further ado guys let's get into the squad uh, in goal we have gone with a player that I I probably wouldn't have used if I didn't get it's, it's one of those ones whenever I do these squads usually it's just a first owner squad because I don't want to spend a lot of coins because the way the players fluctuate in price um, for these weekly objectives. So I don't usually like to go out and buy players With that being said this goalkeeper He might be quite possibly the worst goalkeeper. I have ever used in ultimate team He is so inconsistent one day one game He will save every single shot and then the next game He's letting in like the worst shots possible. It, it's a 50 50 for, for this guy uh, because He's good, but he's bad. It's, it's one of those ones I hate talking about goalkeepers because they're pretty much all like that. Um, the only goalkeeper that I really trust this year is Alisson. I don't even like De Gea. So I can't really hate on this card too much. I would suggest if you guys have him, use him. If not, I would stick with Leno in goal. He's probably the best goalkeeper that's German for, for a reasonable price right now. So definitely either use Korba in form or use Leno. Now moving on to the right back position, we've gone with a player that I've never used before, but my God, I would use him again. And I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce his name right, but I think it's Visor. Right back for Bayern, uh, Bayern Leverkusen. Really, really good right back. I was really worried about his physical and his defense, uh, but I got him because of his pace and his dribbling and really, really did like using this card. Four star, four star as well, 700 coins. So cannot complain about him. He managed to pick up an assist as well. Um, high attacking work rates, medium defensive work rates, but nothing really to complain about. Um, again, as I said, I was really expecting the physical to let me down, but he really, really solid card. Cannot complain about that at all. So moving on to the two centre backs, I'm just going to quickly set this to German. It'll make it so much easier. Um, so first centre back, we've gone with Rudiger. Second centre back, we've gone with Jonathan Tarr. Now these two centre backs, are both very quick, both very physical, both quite tall as well. Jonathan Tarr, six foot four, and uh, Rudiger, six foot three. So very, very good in the air. Both have high defensive work rates, uh, which is which is what we like to see on our centre back. Oh no. Jonathan Tarr has defend, uh, medium defensive work rate. He's got medium, medium. I thought he had high, to be honest. Four-star weak foot, though. 71 pace, 83 defense, and 81 physical. Both very, very good um, players in the centre-back position. If you guys have some more coins and you want to actually spend, spend a lot of money getting this squad, definitely go and get Boateng. He's basically just Jonathan Tarr on steroids this year. So I really, really would suggest getting Boateng if you want to spend that amount of coins. Now, moving on to the left-back position, we have gone with a similar player to... Um, our right back and that is Schulz. Now Schulz again really quick but he does lack a little bit in the defense and physical side. Decent dribbling as well. Again cost 750 coins and high attacking and medium defensive. Really really happy with this card again. Would 
have been amazing if he had three star weak foot because there was a few times where i hit it on his right and it the pass was just abysmal um but it could have just been me so if you guys want to use a player like Schulz, like a, a fast player that's attacking, definitely get Schulz because he's probably the best German attacking fullback that I that I could get for the price. So 100% go and get Schulz. Now moving on to the right centre mid position, we have gone with one of my favourite players this year as a super sub. Never actually used him in um, a starter squad and that is Schweinsteiger. Now I've, I've used him for 21 games really really solid the reason i like him as a super sub is because he's got decent defending stats decent physical stats good passing but his pace and dribbling late game this card is going to save you like it saved me so many times it's unreal six foot as well so he's relatively tall medium medium work rates and just just a really really good card to have if you don't have this card um, you can go out and get Mario Goetzer. Mario Goetzer is another player that I uh, wanted to use in this position, but I also wanted to use Schweinsteiger, but just because I've never used him in a squad before to start. So I really wanted to see how he would play and really, really did enjoy using Schweinsteiger's card. Now, moving on to the next centre mid position, we have gone with Goretzka. Now, Goretzka is one of those players, obviously, you know, he was great last year. Uh, four star weak foot, high high work rate, six foot two, and lowest stat being 74, which is a shooting. Really, really good all round card. His attributes as well, very, very good. 86 stamina, not too bad, so can't complain about his stamina. Um, again, not really much that I can say bad about this card. Really, really did enjoy using him as a center mid, box to box player um he's really really effective on on the counter attack as well with his pace so really definitely 100% go out and get Goretzka he's quite cheap at the moment as well so 100% go and pick up Goretzka now a player that we've got at cam who I I wasn't really sure I would like him and I didn't really enjoy him too much he was there when you needed him but as a cam medium attack and work rate it just doesn't work and I just kept seeing it happen and happening throughout this uh throughout the, the times i was using this guy 14 games i played with him managed to get six goals and two assists which isn't too bad but the medium attack and work rate i just wasn't too happy with his long shots though let me 87 long shots and 88 power ridiculous long shots his curve as well must be decent it's not it's 78 but he his finesse is really really good so surprised that his curve is only 78 but when he's in the right position he's a great card but on the, working your way through the pitch he i don't know he just feels different to me like I, I didn't enjoy using him a player that i would use my cat is just having a sneezing fit um the player that i would use in the center attacking mid role is probably gundogan i really have enjoyed using gundogan this year i've used him um in my starter squads i'm not sure if i did, if i used him in a squad builder for you guys but i really did enjoy using gundogan so i would shove him in I wanted to use um, the Darby because I wanted to use a new player. I wanted to have a little bit of fun. Uh, but I probably, if I was to do this again, I probably wouldn't use the Darby. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the right wing position, we have gone with an inform. Basically because he's the best right wing from Germany right now. Uh, which is probably why he's so expensive. I, I haven't, I didn't check to see if his price had gone up. But 56,000 coins for inform Bellarabi. Now... I don't want to say I was disappointed in him. A very, very good player. Really fun to use. Four-star skill moves. Really good dribbling. Decent physical as well. And really, really quick. But I don't know. I just... I, I keep having this, this feeling where I expect to have more from these kind of players. And I think it's just wingers. I just don't think I use wingers well enough this year to um, really reap the benefits in terms of goals and assists. Uh, I, I always say every squad builder I make that there's always a player or a few players that seem to create the assist if that makes sense so so before the assist it's them that created that pass and i feel like bellarabi and my other winger which you guys are about to see in a minute are basically that that's basically what they did for me in this squad so i don't want to complain about them i don't want to say oh, he only got four goals and one assist in 14 games he's not good don't get him because he is really good he is really really fun to use uh, the only thing that i would definitely say is a little bit of a downside to this card is the high defensive work rate um, he's basically always playing like a right mid, right wing back role because of that. But again, with with Shaws and with Visor, I, I feel like you can get away with it in this kind of squad. As long as you've got fast, high attacking work rate fullbacks, you're fine with whatever work rate your, your wingers are on because they're always going to be overlapping. So it's fine. It works out well. 56,000 coins, not too bad to, to pay for an inform in a top five league as well. So 100% Bellarabi, he's the best option. If you guys don't have the coins, you can always get his normal card. 
Um, I think it does have about 75 to 76 shot, but all the other stats are pretty similar. So 100%, if you can't afford the 56,000 coins, you can go pick up his card. I think it's about 2,000 coins right now. So not too bad. Now moving on to the left wing position, a player that I haven't used this year, Leroy Sane. Um, again, same thing, three goals, three assists in 14 games. And I was playing with him and I sat there and I was thinking, he's not scoring, he's not picking up assists. Should I go out and get someone else? Should I get Royce? Should I just use a, a completely cheaper player? And then I started to, to make more of an effort to go through him. And I realized how effective he was in terms of making space, getting into positions. His pace is ridiculous, guys. It literally, L1 and pass and just wait for him to make a run and you're through. And again, he's basically assisting the assist. So can't complain with him. Again, really, really good work rates, high attacking, medium defensive. He's quite tall as well. So he's a decent aerial threat, not the weaker 70 strength and it's 61 aggression. So again, I, I don't know. I can't really find anything to, to directly fault with this card. Did enjoy using it again, four star skill moves. Can't complain 81 shot as well, which is quite reliable for a winger. So 100% I haven't really found a downside to the squad so far and now moving on to a player that I used right at the start of the year in my 500k squad builder and I loved him you guys loved him a lot you guys wrote down in the comments that Miller was one of your favorite attackers at that time and he's done it again I mean nine goals and six assists in 14 games he cost 18,000 coins to be fair so he, he is a little bit expensive for an 86 rated player at the moment but high high work rates again you, you kind of look at it and you think it's not the best for a striker but i mean nine goals six assists it works it works i don't know how i wasn't really paying that much attention to the way that he moved around the pitch he just always seemed to be in the right position for me so i, I can't complain about his high defensive work rate six foot one and i believe he's got decent jump in so 81 jump in and heading accuracy is 82 can't find a fault with this card really did enjoy using the squad and it's very good i mean i managed to get the eight wins in 14 games and i disconnected from two or three of them i think there was a problem with ea last night because i know a lot of people were having problems with the store and i kept disconnecting personally so i i basically did eight and eleven with the squad so cannot complain at all again players to mention mario gertz if you can't if you don't have the schweinsteiger card and if you don't want to use the derby mario not mario gertz i've just said mario gertz if you get ilkai gundogan gundogan again very very good center attacking midfielder this year um that is it guys i literally i've, I've looked at this squad and I've, I've thought to myself it's really low rated you guys like it when i do a little bit more expensive or illustrious squad builders but there isn't really anyone that i could improve um, because it's not a, a Bundesliga team, it's a straight German team. The, the positions for the price that I wanted to spend, not really like anything that I could do to improve it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy it. This squad, this squad costs about 150,000 coins, depending on players that you do or do not have. Um, it only really costs 150,000 coins because of the three attacking players. So it, it can go down to 100k if you get normal Bellarabi. If you want to get Royce, it can go down by another 40,000 coins. But I think Royce is about 15,000 coins at the moment. So you would save yourself on about 30k buying him rather than Sane. So you can bring the price down if you want. Again, if you don't want to use Mola, you can get um, Timo Werner. Again, very, very good striker. I just didn't want to use the pace option. I wanted to use a, an aerial threat as I had two really quick wingers. So I wanted to use Muller as an aerial threat rather than having the pace and having the three quick attackers. So you can you can play around with the squad. As a foundation though, guys, I think especially the fullbacks, 100% this is the squad to go for. Um, it's the only weekly objective squad that I've built that I've really, really enjoyed using from the start. I mean, I haven't even made any changes. I've used the whole squad for the full 14 games and the only player that I really found myself getting annoyed with was the keeper, but... It's FIFA. Everyone's annoyed with the keepers, to be honest. So cannot complain about that. But anyway, guys, hope you have enjoyed the squad builder. If you have and you if you used it, if you if you guys have anything to suggest, any players that you would substitute in, let me know down below in the comments. And if you did manage to pick up the demo back the demo bay card, I believe his name is pronounced. Let me know how he plays as well. I'm gonna do a squad builder around him as well. Uh, a really, really good Bundesliga score for you guys, actually. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. If you are looking forward to it and you're not already, make sure to smash that subscription button and hit the tiny notification bell so you know exactly when that video is live. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. It's been Dons and goodbye.